Today we're going to talk about uh, the Victron Smart Charge Controller MPPT. I have two of the 100/30, uh, one for one pair of 100 watt solar panels, the other for a pair of 200 watt solar panels, and those are going to come into the system through a solar disconnect, uh, and then ultimately to the link distributor system here. Let me show you these components. I've already configured the um, grounding. The MPPT has a grounding on it. It is a, um, that's a six gauge and then a number 10 on the side. And I'm bringing those together into a stud. And then I have some, some two watt here to bring that to the negative. Again, this is all DC, so I can put that on the negative bus. I've already made my cables here. Uh, a positive and negative for both the one that's closest and furthest away from the Lynx distributor. This is six gauge, five sixteenths, and then six gauge ferrule on the end. Here is my solar disconnect. Let's walk around to this thing for you. I don't have it screwed in at the moment, but you can see it's in the off position. And inside, I'll have uh, one more uh, for the other array of panels coming in, but right now I've just got the one uh, I was going to show you uh, Solar charging of the system today once plugged in. However, it is a storm outside So we can't do that, but I will connect that To the system nonetheless and there's the MC4 connectors out there So let's get right to this and connect these MPPTs to my B Lynx distributor one of the things you want to make sure of is that your system is off. And again, we already made sure that solar disconnect is off, but I don't have any solar panels connected, so that part doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go right to the ground first. I'm gonna leave that little ring terminal in there from Victron, but otherwise we put this on there. This is to the negative bus bar. Then your washer, lock washer, and nut. Again, follow their torque specs. I don't have a torque wrench, so I have to make a guess. Next, we're gonna put in the uh, negative cables to the battery, uh, part of the MPP MPPT. And there we go. We're gonna go ahead and undo all four of these nuts. There we go. We'll do the negative first with the lug, washer, lock washer, nut. Next one, lug, washer, lock washer, nut. Okay. 
again, follow their torque specs. And these are screw terminals. So we're going to the battery negative here. Let's see, can you see that? Just bring it around. Put that in. And while we're here, we'll do the positive end. Good. And we'll come back to the distributor to finish these up. Put the lug on top of the fuse. Washer, lock washer, nut. Come on. There we go. Good. Everything's ready here. Put the cover back on. Now we're back to everybody over here. Uh, let's turn the system on and this should power up the MPPTs. There they are. I have them labeled as number one and number two. Number one is gonna be easy for me to remember because it's my two by 100 watt uh, set of panels and number two is my two by 200 watt set of panels. So let's take a look at these. I wonder if there's a firmware update on them as well. Okay, perhaps not, we'll see. Uh, but as you can tell, there's no PV, no solar panels connected. So there's no power coming into the system, uh, but the device is in good order. And again, for the second one, you can see it's getting its good voltage, but no solar coming in. Okay, let's take a quick look at uh, connecting the solar panel in terms of uh, the connection from the solar disconnect to the MPPT. Uh, as you saw when I showed you the device, I've only got this one set done. Um, I have these protecting the ends in case I had a panel connected, but there's no panel connected and it's off, so there's no power here. Um, black to negative, red to positive. Same screw terminals here. Get it right in there. Set. And this one's good to go. I would do this, uh, the other pair of wires to the other PV, positive and negative, but it's not really hooked up to anything on the other end and, and that's enough to get you going with plugging these in. One last thing for connecting the MPPTs is a VE Direct cable. That's these. 
and this is how they are also going to communicate to the Serbo GX. The connection in the front. Oh, look at that. I forgot to put these two covers back into the Lynx distributor. It's okay to do that right now. Pop this off really quickly and put them on. Oh, they go under <laughs> the positive. So if you do that, turn your system off, disconnect the positive wires, put these in place where they belong, then put your positive wires back, turn your system back on. Can't make every video perfect. Okay, we'll just leave that that way for now. And uh, one more thing, so you can see uh, it is storming outside. So unfortunately, I will not be able to show you um, what it looks like to actually have a solar panel charging this system. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we can connect and go to the remote console and escape out. And now you can see that I have uh, a section for the PV charger, okay? Um, if there was a solar panel connected and I turned on the system, make sure your batteries are on first, then turn on your uh, solar disconnect. Um, <clears throat> then you would see if there was charge needed, the solar panels would be sending charge into the system. Uh, you do not want to turn your solar disconnect on without your batteries being on. Um, all that charge and voltage could fry your MPPTs or hurt some other part of your system because the, that electricity has nowhere to go. It doesn't have a place to go into the batteries. So always turn off your solar disconnect, turn off your power, turn on your power, then turn on your solar panels. So that way you know that the power has a path to your batteries. And I think that'll do it for this one. You've now seen how to connect the MPPTs to your Lynx distributor system. See you on the next one.